Crooked Islanders breathing a sigh of relief after Matthew moved west, sparing them from what it's from its wrath. Our team of Vaughn Aubrey and Quincy Jones took a boat ride to see how they fared. We're leaving the dock here at Lovely Bay in northern Acklands on our way to Crooked Island, which is in front of me. It's a few miles away, but it's so close we could touch it. And ZNS News has made the effort to go over to Crooked Island to get an assessment of how things fared there after Hurricane Matthew. Crooked Island's Chief Counselor Timothy Thompson summed up the sentiments of the island's 285 residents after emerging relatively unscathed from Hurricane Matthew. God was good to us. And he'll continually be good to us because he know we've been through hell the last time. And we don't know want no more a walk in. No, not the likes of walking. Exactly one year ago, Hurricane Joaquin left a trail of destruction after literally coming like a thief in the night. This time, Administrator Francita Neely had marshaled the troops. We were well prepared with the resources that we had. Everybody really worked feverishly to get prepared because they did not want a repeat performance of last year. Welfare officer Denise Williams was tasked with advising residents to use the island's five shelters. I must say that this is the first time I've gotten this kind of response. I'm very proud of the residents that they didn't take anything for granted. They went immediately what, what to the What were shelter. they saying to you when you visited them at their home? What were they saying? Actually, they were saying that, oh my gosh, the, the storm. They said another storm, not another storm. We don't need another hurricane walking. So I said, well... The shelters are there available, everything's prepared. The three-man defense force team, headed by Petty Officer Charles Edgecombe, ensured its readiness. We went around, we checked all the shelters, made sure they were up and running. Um, we came to make sure the command center was good. And um, we were well prepared in terms of checking, make sure all the people went into the shelters, who was going and who was, who was staying. But most of them, they took heed and they went into the shelters. Matthew's timing are set back to Hylian Moss, who was looking forward to celebrating in a new, renovated Landrail Point home. Should have been back in my house this week, but hopefully, maybe next week, I'll be back inside after a whole year of renovating. Walking's destruction still clearly evident by roads badly in need of repair and unfinished homes. There's a lot of folks still not in their homes yet, as we speak. So there's still work to do. But through it all, Crooked Islanders express gratitude to the Almighty. While another star was calling, do not pass me by. Reporting from Crooked Island along with my cameraman, Quincy Jones, I am Vaughn Aubrey, ZNS Network News.